In the xy plane, the graph of x log y equals y log x is empty, a single point, array in the open first quadrant, the closed curve, or the open first quadrant. Um, so I have an idea here. Um, I have a couple ideas. I, I'm not going to be able to sketch this by hand, what the, what the graph of this relation is. Now I've worked, oh, and wait, hold on a second. No, sorry, I was going to say that uh, I did a problem long, long time ago that used that, that had a relation like this, but I'm realizing now it's actually a different relation. Okay, now I'm seeing what I'm going to do is just take the logarithm of both sides of this, uh, and that should make it pretty clear. I think the answer is just going to be um, E, the open first quadrant. Um, so the original expression is equivalent to this expression as long as everything is kind of well defined through the sequence of steps that I went through here. Um, so to completely convince myself that the answer is the open first quadrant, I mean, it's definitely not empty because if x and y are equal to each other, just let x equal 2 and y equal 2, I get 2 to the log 2 is equal to 2 to the log 2, fine, so it's not empty. It's also not a single point because clearly as long as x is equal to y um, and everything is well defined, this will be true. So I can easily find multiple solutions to this. Just let x and y be equal, but let them be any positive real value. Um, array in the open first quadrant, so what I've said hasn't ruled that out yet, but um, I mean, like any any values of x and y strictly positive that I substitute in here will be. Uh, this will be satisfied. And then if I just, there's nothing wrong with bringing that inside. There's nothing wrong with bringing that inside. And so that gives me this line. And then if those are equal, their exponentials are equal. So just take the exponential of both sides to get up there. Yeah, so I, I don't see anything here that, um, could go wrong. So any values of x and y, strictly positive, uh, will satisfy this. Yeah, I thought maybe there was something. What? There's, there's videos I did a long time ago that have had similar expressions to this. Uh, and my intuition was kind of leading down that point already. Um, and in fact, I was kind of leading to um, the answer would have been, I was leading towards answers either C or D based on working with a different expression here. But I'm lucky I realized that the thing I was remembering isn't exactly the same as what we have written here. And then something just popped in my head. By, at this point, it seems obvious that you would just take the logarithm of both sides um, and you end up with the same expression on the left and right hand side of the equal sign. If there's more to say about this one, I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.